Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Thursday, the 1st of March, and this is an example of one of our stock signals. Our members get both long and short on uh, weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frames every day. I also produce a video each day like this uh, to show them how to set those particular trades up just using one of the examples. So, very quickly, in our members area, we our members can click on long or short trades and simply click on the image to download the spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for longs today. We had a big pullback yesterday. Um, so let's see if there's any potential longs on the 60 minute there. So these are the scan results for today. As you can see for the 1st of March, there are a lot of potential trades there. So let's have a look at one of the charts. Okay, from them scan results, I've chosen JetBlue on the 60 minute time frame. So first of all, our filters on the scanner filter out our 535 oscillator. So as long as the waveforms pulling back into our probability pullback zones and the 535 oscillators between 940% and the stochastic is crossing over the oversold zone for a potential long, our scanner pulls this as a potential long trade. So for those members that already have our indicator suite, this is a Ninja Trader version, but we also have it for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. I've isolated the wave count down here at the lows on um, February the 9th, down here, and then we've got the Elliott wave count automatically from our software. We've got a one, a two, a three, and the wave four pullback has found support in the amber zone yesterday. I did close near the low yesterday though, so we've got to be a little bit careful here. So let's zoom in and have a look how we're going to set this potential long trade up. And this, this really depends on how the markets are going to react to that uh, sell off to, into the end of the session yesterday. So far, when I'm recording this video, uh, futures seem a little bit positive. So what we see is the Waveforce pullback found support in our amber zone. That gives us an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new Wave 5 high in our automated target zones up here in blue. So we've got to look for an entry. We've got to be quite conservative here. Our normal entry strategy looks at coming out of this 6-4 moving average high, this green moving average. That's one of our entry strategies there. But we also need to consider previous price action. And in yesterday's price action, we did have an, a high there at 20, uh, sorry, the 21.49. So I've gone for a an entry above that high at 21.51 just to be a bit on the conservative side there. I've got a stop loss below the wave 4 low there. So the wave 4 low for yesterday was 21.01. I've got a stop loss at 20.99. Nice and tight. If however this doesn't trigger today and makes a new low we just have to adjust our stop loss. Uh, potentially the entry as long as it's above the 6-4 moving average high. But going into today's uh, markets, this could turn around if we get that bounce from those lows uh, from the close last night. This could be a really good trading opportunity on JetBlue on the 60-minute time frame. So just to remind you, we've got an entry long at 21.51, which is outside the 6-4 moving average high for today and also above the high of yesterday. The stop loss is down here at 20.99 and our target is around about 22.40 into our automated target zone here. So we've got a great risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into this potential long trade on JetBlue. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.